Project Maths essentially it's about a new syllabus and it's a syllabus really for the 21st century so that students will be able to cope confidently with mathematics in their future studies and in their daily lives. Project Maths is also about promoting fresh, new, innovative pedagogies in the classroom to promote higher order thinking among the students and to encourage more classroom interaction and discussion. And finally, it is about a new examination, both in the layout of the paper and in the style and format of the questions. The aims of Project Maths are to develop in students the ability to think creatively about mathematics, to be able to conceptualise and to be able to solve problems in daily life as well as in mathematical contexts. Among other aims of Project Maths would be for students to be able to think critically and creatively and to be able to solve problems. For the first year, what we did was we followed two schools. One, a junior cycle class from the school in Donegal and the second one, a senior cycle class from school in Carlo to see what would Project Maths look like in action in a classroom. I think the biggest benefit of today's class was seeing the kids that wouldn't normally shine in the lesson really participating and answering the questions. And it wasn't just down to the two or three kids who normally would answer all the questions. Everybody had uh, an opportunity to do so. And the confidence that they got as a result of that had huge benefits to their learning of the concept involved. So we did learn a lot more by ourselves and it was actually a little bit better than usual like you know because she didn't spend ages trying to teach it and then we didn't understand it and she'd have to go over it again we just got it straight away because we figured it out ourselves. A lot of the activities are structured in such a way for the students to be able to communicate with each other in a group dynamic. It's not finished all the way to the end there's a small bit that could be added on it. Yeah because um, yeah, it has to go right down to the end. Yes it has to go right to the 720. They're used, very used to in the past where just sitting down and copying down from the board and opening up their book and doing out the exercises out of it and especially for this class the vast majority find it really difficult to follow instructions whereas with the act of learning they're more likely to listen when they're working in group work or on the computers or something different they find it more engaging. I thought the way that even if you weren't great at maths you could still get the hang of it like it wasn't just like three or four out of the whole class understanding and everyone else just like looking at her. It was, it was really good about that. It was just easier to understand and just simpler. Throughout there's a very delicate balance being maintained between what the teacher is teaching and how they're teaching it, what their students are learning and how they're learning it. They're not used to verbalising their answers. In the past, I would have given them the answers. We would have done stuff on the board, they would have taken down notes, carried out exercises, and they were always, there was always a method to finding the answer. It was either right or it was wrong, as far as they were concerned. And now I think, in asking them their opinions and asking them why they think things, they're afraid of being wrong. Today's class was about rolling the dice, and it was kind of like, estimate how, um, was it A, or was it Team B that was going to win it? Today's lesson I think the kids found very difficult and I do believe that they missed the main points of the lesson. I was hoping that they would come to the conclusion that it was not a fair game that I had set up and that player B would have a lot more ways of winning over player A. Now they did come to that conclusion but it took an awful lot of prompting and a lot of teasing out of their ideas. I wouldn't be a fan of maths now but it's starting to get far better because you learn more and it's last time the teacher just give you the answer and all that if you're stuck so that's what makes it better. There's still a few teething problems certain students still find it very hard to work independently and do have to be coaxed a little bit now and again and some of them maybe just sit there and wait to be told what to do and you kind of have to go up and tell them now what was the instruction and what do you think you have to do next and so on so we are getting there but certainly majority of the students are doing what they should be and I'm very happy with that progress. But I think teachers are aware that something needs to be done in the subject and by and large the response to the workshops has been fantastic. 
Teachers are very enthusiastic when they see the new methodologies because they're very hands-on and they've been proven to work. Because we've seen in the 24 project schools that this approach does work, does increase understanding in maths. And finally, the students are coming out of the maths classroom saying, now I know what's going on. Now I understand the subject. At the workshops, what we do is we model and showcase what a project maths classroom could look like in action. It's all about active participation for the teachers at the workshops so that they can see how that would transfer into the classroom for them. I found it very interesting that we can use algebra by using everyday situations rather than just sticking to uh, a book, a textbook and uh, following it slavishly. I would say the main challenges are a shift in the way we teach in our classrooms. Traditionally maths teachers would teach very much, much in isolation whereas now teachers need to get together, share resources, divide the workload, chat a bit more about what's going on and what's working and what's not working. There are still traditional classes in Project Maths. In fact, I'd say it's important to break down the distinctions there between maths and Project Maths. It's all maths. It's been a huge eye-opener for me to see the kids growing so uh, dramatically in a space of a few months to see the kids grow from being so quiet and, and shy and introverted to being able to be confident and uh, articulate what they can, can and can't do in maths is just a fantastic thing to watch. There is a much better atmosphere in the project math class now. No one is finding it as difficult and it's not as boring or anything. I found myself almost made redundant in today's class, which was fantastic. The kids just took off. They knew how to put them together. They knew the trigonometry, so they were able to work out um, any of the questions that they were given. Most of these kids dreaded maths. Coming in here, they absolutely dreaded it because they struggled with maths right through. And now to hear them today saying that this was great, there was nothing difficult about today's class, we were grand, we were able to do it, like that really shows you that you can do that and that is working for some of these kids and for most of these kids. There's going to be less emphasis on rote and while skills are an intrinsic part of mathematics we will not lose focus that students do have to be proficient and be able to execute skills and be efficient in doing so but that alone is not mathematics. They also have to know why they're doing it how they're doing it and how it will apply to their daily lives. I'd say to all teachers out there, definitely stick with the new methodologies. It's a journey worth taking and the destination is definitely a place you want to go to. I like the, the practical approach and I like the way that they're, they're emphasising understanding rather than procedures. I think students often get caught up with procedures and I think understanding is what math should be about. I'm a science teacher as well I'm so used to use the practical thing for science. Suddenly using it for maths is just wonderful. I think students learn better when they interact a bit more in class as opposed to just sitting there and learning everything that the teacher's telling them and um, when they can actually learn for themselves uh, it's far more beneficial to them. The hope and the aim then is that students no longer see maths as a subject to be feared or a subject to be endured but that they see it as a very creative subject really that's around them. I didn't really like Project Maths now at the start of it because um, I was used to the other method of teaching where you were taking down the notes in your copy and the teacher was telling you the answer but um, a few more lessons of it now, I have warmed to the idea because um, it's easier to remember all the stuff that you do because you're doing it, you're, do, you're finding out the answers yourself and uh, it sticks in your mind more clearly. I was, it seemed like something different but, but, but you'll get used to it sooner or later. I like maths anyway but I think Project Maths is a much better way to learn because we're working in groups and we're actually finding out the answers for ourselves. Mm -hmm.